Welcome to the Ice Cream Convos podcast, where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. I am your host, Xaviera. And I'm your co-host, Carla. And as always, we thank you for tuning into the show. And as soon as I said that I lost my podcast notes, but I got them back. <laughs> so be sure <laughs> to subscribe oh, nice. and rate our podcast wherever you listen and let us know why you love the show. We also encourage you to be a part of the show by sharing your thoughts and comments in the comment section below, wherever you listen to us. So Carla, how are you doing on this lovely, um, how many third week of this January? This is the, yes, the third week. Mm-hmm. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, actually, I'm, Oops, look, sorry. <laughs> that went on birthday snacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Speaking of snacks, though, now I'm great. I'm a little birthday cake wasted, as you know, of course, because that's your yes. guy son, celebrated his 16th yesterday. So I'm a little cake wasted, but I actually ha- I've been having a pretty good start. How does it feel oh, to have a 16 year old young grown man in your house? Man, old as hell. When you start <laughs> talking about shit from like you to go from like <laughs> literally, yep. No, seriously, you go from stuff like you go from like I feel like you go from like diapers to talking about like onesies. The next talking about like what? What's next? Like with a little oh, boy man. phase. They yep. they hoping they bumping their leg. They, now I'm talking about razor <sighs> up shaving and yep. then being taught how to shave cologne. Like whole, yes. <laughs> Child, <laughs> I, it's other things, but we ain't gonna get into that. Y'all already okay. know how them nasty boys be. Uh, okay, all right. Girl, I, I want ready. Why ain't you warn me? Listen, because my son traumatized me so bad. I said everybody else got to get this smoke too. <laughs> <laughs> you damn ass wrong. See, you know you're wrong for that. Yeah. Everybody got to get their own smoke. My son traumatized me. He is a you mess. He still get over like that. <laughs> I love my baby. He my yes. big baby. One Shut thing I one thing I will say about sons especially when they're the first born mm-hmm. like no matter how, my son is 30 years old and i like he's still my baby oh so. i can't stand him sometimes but <laughs> he is know still what? my baby yeah i think it's so and that's why i'm saying you you know you into the game before me i only mm-hmm. have a boy though too mm-hmm. but i'm like nah that's my baby i don't care how old he you is done, done. always be my baby yeah. yep done you only got right. one and he a boy you done yes <laughs> Ain't no woman gonna be able to make it in CJ life. Listen, let me tell you right now, ma'am. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> tell you right now, ma'am. Don't, if you think you're about that. to date CJ, ma'am, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be worse than me, child. Please. I know. Do I know. <laughs> now, nah, how you feeling this morning? Um, I am okay. So I did a thing. Uh uh-uh. oh. Bought a car. Bought a car. <laughs> Oh, I'm part of the Tesla gang, dog. Hey, wait, yes. Yo, wait, oh, why? I like that. I'm so excited. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Second of all, I just had a brain fart because I was so ready. It's a, it's some bars out there about a Tesla, it is? and I had it in my head, and I just lost. It. I feel like it's Offset. Mm, shout out to Offset. Shout out to Set. Yes, but I'm yes. think of it. Yeah, congratulations. Um, yeah, um, Carla, like Carla knows, like this is my. I've been obsessing over Teslas for probably about two, three years. Yes. Just straight up obsessing. It's been like three. Maybe. Yeah. 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 I even thought, Carla, listen, y'all don't understand. Carla tried to talk me into like ditching the ICC party and just buying my Tesla. Yes. (laughs) Word. 
Word, word. I'm just saying, y'all. Listen, it's no. She did. We all know how hard you grind. Like you so deserve yeah. it. But I just thought about something. You just brought a what? 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 ICT party, and you got your Tesla. Look you at God. Amazing. Look, at you God. are amazing. Y'all keep you reading the site. You talking about manifestation? <laughs> keep reading. Right. Go to icecreamcombos.com. <laughs> yes. Support a player. <laughs> Support a player. Go to icecreamcombos.com. Just go through a few stories. Share with a friend. I don't even care if you even care about the story. Just please read it. Oh my gosh. That's so hilarious. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. does it feel like to drive a Tesla? Okay. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to. I'm trying to eat grapefruit because you know me and Carla said we about to lose this. We about to lose these pounds. I was trying to eat some grapefruit on the sneak. Um, no, I mean so, seriously though. Like no, no, I mean, okay. like I know you'll give the best. Like you see reviews, but I know you yeah. won't let us know. Let the okay. culture know what it's like. So here's a few things. Mm -hmm. I had got so used to every time I'm on the road and I see a Tesla, I'll be like, oh, look at the, oh, oh, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. Right, I literally right, right. did that while driving my car. No, you did. And I had to stop in the middle, For like, real? yo, but I'm, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in one. <laughs> it's, it's, it has been completely surreal. Wow. I bought the car on Friday night. Mm -hmm. We're recording today, Wednesday. So like, it hasn't even been a full week yet, but it has been so surreal to me only because of the fact that um, I really, 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 really wanted it. Yeah. And it was one of those things that you want, but you like. I don't know if I'm ever gonna really get it. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I, I totally understand. Believe me, I get it. It's almost like the the wanting it becomes part of the who you are, just wanting right. it. Right. And you don't ever see yourself on the other side of just wanting it. And having so, it. So and having yeah. it. So God is great. Um no, and shout out to my husband who came through clutch. Yes. And so I was able to get my 2021 model Y. She's nice. white. Her name is Boonchi. Oh, <laughs> my, <family, not> <laughs> <laughs> my family hates the fact that I well mainly why you name? Why you name? Destiny can't Boonchi. She look like a little Boonchi. I'm like, hey Boonchi. <laughs> Ain't Boonchi, Boonchi, Boonchi. And then if I get a kitten, she'll be Boonchi cat. <laughs> Sitting up, shy. yo, you stupid. It's a problem. So, um, how does it feel to drive? Okay, so it um, the best way to describe it is like, okay, the first night riding home in it, mm -hmm. I got motion sickness. Oh man, because you do get motion sickness as a passenger, like when you read I, and stuff, right? It, yes, I get terrible yeah. motion motion sickness when I look at my phone or I try to work in the car, but I okay. still like will take my motion sickness stuff and, and push through because I have to get this than. content out. Yeah, I know that's right. But riding home, because there's no engine, like a few times okay. I was like, is the car even on? You hear nothing. Wow. You hear nothing. You just, the lights are on inside. Okay. I put it in drive and it, it's ready to go. Nice. Um, So you don't feel like the rumble, you know, the vibration of an engine mm -hmm. or the rumble mm -hmm. of the engine. Mm -hmm. You don't feel the um like uh, like the pull of an engine like when okay. i press on the gas okay here's the best way to describe it because y'all know i uh, i'm too descriptive at times and can't no. find the right words but it's perfect right now uh, Need to when know. i hit the highway and i was like yo i'm about to stretch her out a little bit mm -hmm. it literally felt the same i felt the same pressure on my chest and my body as you feel when you're in an airplane and it's taxiing down the runway, picking up speed to get ready to take flight. Wow. Like it felt like my chest was like, like, wow. When you in grab, remember Gravitron at the fair? Yes. It feels like, it feels like, like, like oh, it feels like Gravitron. Girl. Shout out to, man, shout out to Grab. That was, man, a lot of people didn't throw up on that. Man, thing. listen, holla if you hear me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it felt wow. like, it feels okay. like Gravitron. Okay. Like you feel the weight of the pulling against that your chest. Yes, as you're going, and okay. I think I haven't gone over seventy five miles an hour. Oh, I was like, I can't. I'm gonna need you. Over and and it was really pulling me. I was like, no, I can't play with this. One. I can't play with <laughs> right? This. So it's play a with different it, type of fast. It. It's a whole so, different different type of speed. Yeah, it's different. So I think the best part about getting the car is um, Destiny really, really manifested it for me and the rest of the family because oh, she was like. Yes. When we went to the dealership, she was like, oh, we leaving with a Tesla today. We leaving hey. with a Tesla today. I was like, girl, you need to chill. Yeah, She's like, is. no, we leaving with a Tesla. So, <laughs> to yes. so on Saturday, I took her to um, 
Chick-fil-A. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course, you got to you got to stretch out the, the car and the tires, but you also got to stretch out the sound system and see what oh, we work. Always, with. always. Oh, yeah. And the bass in that car, you can play Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? <laughs> and you won't hear Kevin talking at all in the song. In uh, subwoofers are crazy then. Stupid. The whole front, okay. the mm-hmm. whole front area, like at the base of the windshield, the okay. whole area across the front of the car is a speaker. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's like, some serious sound. I love that. Front. So I told Desi, I was like, all right. Because, you know, she my little BFF. I was like, mm-hmm. let's put on all the hood sassy songs. So we pull up in Chick-fil-A like, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> <laughs> we Now, mind you, you know how we both look. So we sit in the car trying to look sophisticated. And the car's like, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And I was like, we look so ghetto right now. Oh, my God. So that's then so she awesome. Put on, then she put on Little Baby. Hey. Oh, we yeah. was like, yeah. <laughs> I, he was in the car, damn it. And then she put, yes, I yeah. love it. And then, you know, Destiny is so funny. She was like, all right, this is the last one. So now we probably buy, we done placed our order. So we going around to pick up the other little, you know, pick up your stuff, your food. Mm-hmm. So she was like, I said, what else you got? What else you got? She was like, oh, oh, we got to do this one. She was like, because he did something with this one. I'm like, all right, what mm-hmm. she got for me? We pull up. To get the Chick Fil A and hear boom twenty one, can you do something for me? She was like Drake did something with this one. I said, "Girl, you sound like fifty five years old." He did something right. with this one. Definitely so, yeah. been here before. Yeah, oh, she has. She really. Oh, has. I love it. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah. So that was really really cool. So okay. um, I'm in the phase now where you just try to find any reason to drive. Yeah. Oh yeah. You, anyway. Uh, yeah, finding that charge life ain't no joke. I'm gonna have okay. to get a charger put in the house because I ain't beat for the charger yeah. life. Yeah. Okay. You know, I didn't I didn't calculate that into my hopes and dreams and wants was having to go charge this car. But yeah, I but think that I got should to- change as time. Hopefully, you know, I think I see them a lot up top. Yeah. Down here, oh. they're out there, like the supercharging stations, mm-hmm. surprisingly, are like really spread out. But then you okay. have like charge point, you have EV go, um, charge point, I think EV go, and a, you know, different places. So okay. um this weekend we ended up in Athens and they do have a Tesla supercharging station. So I supercharged okay, there. And I think that really helped me kind of get on track with the charging because I work from home and I'm a homebody. I don't go that often. Ah, makes so I basically plugged the car up at home, which is the slowest charge in the world. But overnight, by the you time, I act- yeah, we're good. By the time I actually want to yeah. come out the house. Yeah. That's you actually know. perfect for you. Yeah. It works out for me. So, um, eventually I may go ahead and get the charger at home, but right now it's looking like I ain't even got to spin that bread right now. Cause yeah. I don't, I don't drive that much. I that's don't, true. I really don't. So okay. yeah. So that's, um, my good news for this week. Your good news is our, news. Baby, our baby is 16. Yes, girl. Happiest birthday to CJ, my whole little heart right there. <laughs> and, um, all right. So, um, do you have anybody for the prayer list this week? Cause I didn't, I, um, okay. You know what? Let's oh, yeah. rewind. Let's rewind. Let's rewind. But let's go mm-hmm. ahead and get the show started okay. by doing our RIPs. Oh, um, yeah. I want to so go ahead and yeah, I want to go ahead and extend my prayers and condolences to the Presley family. Um, mm-hmm. Lisa Marie Presley passed away. Yo, that one kind of caught me off guard, only mm-hmm. because I was like, I just saw her Tuesday night on the oh, at the yeah. Globe, Golden Globes, right? right. You know, her yeah. and mom and mama Priscilla, they mm-hmm. were at the Golden Globes with the little boy who uh, played Elvis in the film. And now he thinks he's Elvis in real life because he's still talking with the accent. God he's bless handsome. him. He is a handsome little boy. Do he? Yeah. He look like he might be mixed with a little something. I know. I, I was going to ask you because, you know, I, I feel like you. Uh, you know, what? let me look him up. I think his yeah. name is Austin Butler. Right. He's very, very handsome. I was like, oh, he is a handsome guy. Yeah. But he is like. He was up there get, taking his um, acceptance award, getting his acceptance award at the Golden Globes, talking like Elvis. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, man. He says he is an American so actor. Okay. <laughs> he is American. I thought he was British. <laughs> he American. <laughs> this boy's so lost. He is so lost in the sauce. But no, he is a cute. I don't care. Somebody in his family got a secret. Listen, that's what I'm saying. He's very handsome. Somebody in his family got a secret because this boy right here, 
got some of some got something. some of somebody in yeah, there. A sprinkle, a sprinkle of something. Uh, salt based sprinkle. He got some of something <laughs> in there. I'm just looking at his like his mouth area. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he yeah, is. I don't know. He is pretty. Look at him. Now let us know. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the mouth, though, like you said to me from me. The All mouth. you gotta do is put on 21. Can you do something for me? <laughs> See how we dance. <laughs> right? That'll there it is. Know. That's the test. No, that's so funny. That should be that. That should be the test right there. Mm-hmm. Yep, the universal. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, so um, she was at the Golden Globes, you know, supporting him because he was mm-hmm. up for his nomination for his portrayal of Elvis, and he did win. But um some people were saying that Priscilla kind of looked a little bit off at the Golden Globes. I really didn't notice. I didn't pay attention that much. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you just see people. You're right. not like, does she seem off of her body language? You no, know, people. you never do because you're not paying that. Absolutely. That deep. Unless it's just something that is Obvious. like you just can't even turn a blind eye to. Right, right. But um, they said she went into cardiac arrest. And you just keep hearing the cardiac arrest so much lately. Yeah, not a heart attack. Yeah, so um, my heart really, really, truly, honestly breaks for her children because yeah. two years ago, her son committed suicide. So her oh, yeah. kids are two years ago, they just lost their brother. And now they're losing their mother. Yeah, that's yeah. really sad. Yeah, and yeah. she has her, old, her oldest daughter is an actress, really good actress. Her mm-hmm. name is Riley. But the two other girls, they're younger. They're like middle school. Wow, really? Yeah, so that that's okay. really that's really sad. sad. Yeah. yeah it is. So, we extend our condolences and prayers, <clears throat> excuse me, to everyone who knew and loved Priscilla Presley. Um may she rest in peace. Yeah. Um as far as our prayer list is concerned, this is one of the stories I was going to talk about, so I'm going to go ahead and add him to the prayer list and then we can get into the story. Okay. Girl, we're going to add Antonio Brown to the prayer list. Oh, uh, why was you in my head? You know, that's literally, I'm so glad that you started this way because he was the first person when you asked me earlier. Mm. That's who I was going to put at the top. Please put him at the top of the list, at no matter who else is on this list. Mm. Pin him, pin it. Pin it. <laughs> you know you pin it. We're going to pin him at the top of our prayer list. I'm going to need all my prayer warriors to gather around or go into your prayer closets and grab your prayer cloths because yeah. we are bringing Antonio Brown before the Lord in prayer this week. Um, Antonio Brown has been a habitual line stepper for quite some time now. I don't know what is going on with this brother. Some of y'all say a CTE. I don't know. But what I do know is that brother need help. He'd been running around with Kanye West at one point in time. He was wearing them goofy boots. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about that. Yeah, remember that? And remember Keisha Cole. Listen, Keisha Cole, girl, you dodged the bullet. You better go and get in your prayer closet and thank the mighty Lord (laughs) Jesus above. Because remember, she was in love with him for a little second. It was all her because he played her. Yes, I forgot all about that. Yeah, she dodged the real bullet. Wow. Mm, Mm, She dodged the 40 caliber. That would have been a mess. She dodged a hollow point. (laughs) What they call it? A buck? A buck shell? Something? (laughs) She dodged all of them. So basically yesterday, which was Tuesday, um, Antonio Brown was trending on Twitter. He is actually still right now in this very moment trending on Twitter because he went to Snapchat and decided to post sexually explicit videos and pictures of him and his baby mama. Crazy, crazy. um, Engaged in sex acts, but mainly it was her, you know, in Mm -hmm. doing the engagement. Mm-hmm. Of and um, he started trending, of course, after a while, Snapchat became aware of it. They suspended his account. Um, the baby mother released a statement saying she is fully aware. She apologizes to anyone whose children look up to him as a role model. But keep in mind, she has her own children with him. And this is what he's doing. So Which is um, nuts. that's crazy. She needs to press charges. Yeah, because that's revenge porn. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's ridiculous. I press charges. Yep. That's Listen, and, and I'm not victim blaming here, so don't get me wrong. But I thought a couple of years ago, us ladies had decided we was going to stop letting people film and take pictures of I us. I know that's us. right. I hear you. That might need to be. I'm glad you reiterated that. Because we this, we did have that conversation, yeah, right? Yeah, we did. Yes, tripping, right? absolutely. No, you, okay. nah, you ain't tripping at all. Okay. I thought we had that conversation yes. that we was going to stop doing that. I, I, yeah, did. It's not, I don't think you're victim shaming either. I just think you're putting it out there again, like the re, as a reminder. Yes. 
Yes, this is our public service announcement, yeah. courtesy of Ice Cream Combos. Please, right ladies, stop letting these men film you, tape you, uh, etch your sketch yeah, you, lead and sex X. <laughs> hey, leave the damn phone. Listen, you got to get to the point where you got to be like, yo, leave the phone out. Leave the phone in the car. Okay, listen. Or leave the phone in You want to record me doing a sex act, put it on an etch your sketch and let me shake it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> You have to etch a sketch. Not a etch a sketch, though. Oh my gosh, yes. You got to etch a sketch, me, baby. No face, no case. You got to etch a sketch, me. (laughs) Forget taping and taking pictures of me. Are you crazy? Oh my god. Hold on, real quick. Sidebar. (laughs) While we think of the pictures, because I just need to know a question. This is so random. Y'all, please forgive me, but I want everybody to answer this question. Remember back in the day, you had the cameras. And you would go and take the film to the mm. like film people. Mm. You had to take it to CVS and all that to get it. No, even before that, what were the people like that used to sit? They were like little hut, like not huts, but they looked like little huts. Like what it camera? was like these little whatever camera places where you literally just took it there. They um, developed mm-hmm. it and gave it back. I would always wonder, like the real freaky people, because people been taking news and stuff. Word. What? How much? Like I always wonder what they saw in there. The for, like the people that did that. I always all right, wonder, I got like, a funny story. What, uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! What you got? Hold on. Let me talk low so he don't hear me. Oh, so, God. one time, me and JB went to his friend's wedding. Mm-hmm. We was at this hotel, and the hotel mm-hmm. was real nice. Had a hot tub in the bed in the bedroom. I guess they accidentally upgraded us because we we couldn't afford it at the time. <laughs> so we was like, "Oh shit, we got a we got a hot tub. We got to go to the gas station and get some some joy to make bubbles." <laughs> Yeah, this not detergent. Joy, <laughs> joy. <laughs> so we ran to the gas station. I love station. it. I love it. We got some joy. We put it in the bathtub because we gonna make bubbles in the hot tub, right? Too oh, hot, right. hot tub. <laughs> so we put <laughs> we put gotcha. the bubbles in the in the, which I now know you are not supposed to do with a jacuzzi or a, you're not supposed <laughs> to put joy in there. <laughs> but That's we did it. Idea. This hotel ain't my house. So we put the joy in there. So now the hot tub is full of bubbles. So now mm. we in there get to the get to, right? We doing, right, right, right. We doing what we came to do. Right, 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 right. So then afterwards, you know, I was like, oh yeah, let's take pictures, you know, or whatever. Mm. So Jay was in the tub and he had like submerged like all the way down under the bubbles. So all the bubbles was like kind of up to his neck. So we were taking like our cute little pictures. We went in there like busting it wide open, no stuff like that. We was just taking our cute little <laughs> we in hot tub pictures. Busting it wide open now. Yeah. yeah you, go, go. We're taking, pictures, we're taking pictures. Yeah. So of course, at that time, I don't even think it was CVS or Walgreens. It was Rite Aid, my G. Rite Aid. Remember okay. when you had the disposable cameras after you take a picture, you got to go skr, 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 yes. skr, 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 yes. snap, yes. skr, 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 skr. Okay. Yes. So we had took the disposable camera. So I took it in there. When I went back to pick up the pictures, whoever, I can't remember if it was a guy or a girl, but I just remember they kept giggling when they hand me back the pictures. So oh I was like, gosh. okay, what you, like, what's, what's so funny or whatever. And maybe they having a good day. Maybe, you yeah, know, when you yeah, encounter I somebody who somebody just says something funny to them and they still like yeah. laughing about it. Yeah, I was like, yeah. maybe it's one of those. You didn't forgot about them. You, didn't, you know, that's not on, yeah, your, that's like, on your mind. Because you always take forever to do the process yep. yes yes right? yeah so i get in the car and you remember that after you get the pictures the first thing you want to do is hop in the car and go through them to see if the pictures came out good yeah yeah why well, get to the picture of jb in the hot tub mm-hmm. oh what i did not notice at the time when i took the picture oh shit there is jb in a tub it's like a white hot tub okay and all the white bubbles and you see JB's head at one end, and then halfway through, you see brown sausage in the middle of all of Oh, all of no. <laughs> His boy had floated up in the water. <laughs> oh, His boy had floated up in the water. I done took these pictures to get <laughs> developed. <laughs> And they sniggling and giggling when I come to pick up a picture because I look like a pervert. Oh I got a picture gosh. of a man in a hot tub <laughs> with his meat sitting on top of the bubbles. <laughs> Thank you for that. I needed to know. So that's the giggle. I've been wanting to know. Oh, so now yeah, did, for everybody ahead, so who come did. to my house and ask for my Wi-Fi password, when you or connect my Wi-Fi, when I tell you my Wi-Fi is hot tub Tony. Stop. You're lying. Stop. Stop. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is why our that is why our Wi-Fi is hot. Why are you doing like that? Joe? Why are you doing like that? <laughs> but you know what, man? But I'm glad this time it was the man and not the woman. Because we Listen, always sorry, brother. Sorry. <laughs> it's sorry. Listen, I was like, the it was like, that oh, on it was like, oh my goodness. I was like, man, don't be embarrassed. You got enough meat to nah, fill the bubbles. <laughs> you a star. You a star. <laughs> you walk that, that ride in with pride. Oh, oh mm-hmm. my gosh. Yep. That is hilarious. He had oh, floated to the top. Thank so you. Now we got all the way over there. Because I'm sorry to take y'all because mm-hmm. that was so mm-hmm. random. Mm-hmm. That was so random. But the I truth. just had to know. I just had to know. It's the truth, but guess what? <laughs> you know how hard it was to upload a photo to, to the internet back then? You ain't have oh, to worry snap. about no Adrian with Antonio Brown yes. uploading your stuff to Snapchat. Exactly. That, you got a good point. That's a very good point. Yeah, we got to stop. We gotta All stop. technology ain't good. Nah. And there's other ways to, to turn up, get, turn it up in the bedroom. Like You don't have to record it. Believe me. And there's just plenty of other ways. Yeah. Come in the room with an etch sketch. <laughs> yeah, yo, stop you want to document this experience? <laughs> <laughs> you better get your right and left hand together. Make them lines oh, straight. Etch a sketch. Mm. Straight up. Oh my so, god. Yeah, y'all. Just keep Antonio uh, Antonio Brown in Please. your prayers because he's done burn bridges everywhere. Like what he did, like the mess between him and Tom Brady. That's just downright ridiculous. I think he's it's mental though. I definitely agree with like, I don't know if it's CTE, but that's something or like, it's something psychological going mm-hmm. on. With Antonio Brown. And that may be why him and Kanye connected. Yeah. It could be. Same type birds of, of a feather. Yep. Birds of a feather. Absolutely. Speaking of Kanye West, you know, this Joker done got married. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. play, play married. Mm-hmm. He had a commitment ceremony. <laughs> I was about to ask you, is it real? Are we? Are, do we know? Yeah, commitment ceremony. There you he go. He didn't file a marriage license. Like they didn't mm. obtain a marriage license or file like you know a marriage license. So as far as I'm concerned, it was a it's commitment a marriage, ceremony. Yeah. It ain't a marriage. You run around with a ring on, and I feel like he only did that jump despite Kim anyway. It is. You know that's what it is. We all know. Uh-huh. We all know who you really want. And then I'm che- and I'm looking at. Uh, his alleged wife with one eye open, like, sis, you ain't seen the past six months? <laughs> Listen, right now it's about his bread. Even though well, I know she yep. don't really need it, probably, You're but right. I just feel like, because you know Kanye money is a different level. We could laugh about the endorsements. Even with all endorsements and different things he's lost, he's still got. He's still, he's still up. Got, yeah, he's still up. Exactly. <laughs> Homegirl was like, if it ain't about the money, don't be... <laughs> <laughs> That's what like, it has to be. Unless she gonna really come, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I'm not gonna judge. Let's wait and see. Maybe she hope. I hope somebody whoever like makes him t- like take his meds. Man, please. But do you think someone really has the ability to coerce? I know that's that's, that's a good that's that's even a better question. Top, yeah. top tier coercion. Yeah, well, because good lord. Yeah. Kim couldn't get him to do it, true. And we know he mm-hmm. genuinely, genuinely loved Kim. Say what you want. He loved that girl. He loved he that. He do. I'm mm-hmm. just a mother of his children. Right. So, um, Tory Lanez, we're back on Tory again. Mm-hmm. Last week, we talked to you about his new attorney. You remember he's mm-hmm. hired David Kenner. And um, he's hoping that David Kenner can secure him a new trial, you know, after he was convicted in the Megan Thee Stallion shooting. And he's, what, looking at 22 years yeah, that's 20, 22, something like that. Yeah. I know it's 20. I know it's not less than 20. Yep. He's looking at at least two decades behind yeah. bars. So he's yes. hoping that David Kenner can pull a miracle out in court. Yeah. But meanwhile, back at the ranch, Tory's father, Sunstar Peterson, <laughs> took to the streets of Quinta Brunson's internet and uh, he went live and basically let everybody know that he and Tory and their family have long forgiven Megan mm-hmm. the Stallion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They still, Bro, oh boy. You, you did what? So y'all forgave Megan? Oh, okay. <laughs> nuts. The victim who got yeah. shot. It's nuts. When I when I saw that, I'm just like, yeah, he might not be right because I, I I don't understand that. Things Forgive like that for what? Me, but things like when you see people say and do things like that, oh, that lets me know that apple didn't fall far from the tree. Nope, and didn't roll. It ain't just roll say, at all. It know. just fell right there. I said, <laughs> right by his side. Yeah. I'm like, you cannot be serious. First of all, you can't trust a ball head with a part. The man got a ball head and he got a part. So I went into this <laughs> feeling yeah, highly suspicious of anything that he had to say to me. 
And I'm like, okay. So he and Tori and their family, they have forgiven Megan, mm-hmm. the victim in all of this. Right. But my question for Mr. Sunstar Peterson is, but have you forgiven Jay-Z and Rock Nation? Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, word, all that performing, all that, that whole tantrum, because that to me, that was a tantrum. That it was. tantrum you threw after that verdict. Did you forgive Jay-Z and Rock Nation? Because that's the true forgiveness that I'm trying to see. Do you have that level of forgiveness <laughs> in your belly? I'm like, are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm going to need Mr. Sunstar to have a seat. Yeah, I'm Anissa. <laughs> you support your son, you know, honestly, like, because at the end of the day, he got to be held accountable for what he did. I'm Absolutely. Not, I wasn't there, but we already know. It, it's no more speculation. Okay. Jury, like, you know, and that's the thing, too. I'm You're still hearing people say, like, he didn't do it. Okay. All right. Like, at this point, I don't have the time, energy, capacity, or none of the above to argue with anybody yeah. about Tory Lanez's innocence or guilt. Right. At this point, the court said what they said. Yeah. Um, the evidence. I mean, I listened to audio recording of him literally saying, "Man, I, I was drunk. Man, I know yes. I can't take it back. I yeah. never would have did no stuff like. Oh, okay. What do you expect, everybody? And you know what's so funny? I, now I thank God we talk about the system, but now I thank God we have that system. Okay, girl, could you imagine if we didn't have it at all and we just went off public opinion? Oh Lord. <laughs> People and, you know, the, the justice system doesn't they most times do not get it right, but they don't. But thank God we have it. We That's what yeah. I was saying. Like, yeah, if they don't. But if we didn't have it, it would be way worse. Oh, like, we have to look at the like real, real cons if we did not have yeah. the type of system that we have, although it's flawed, mm-hmm. and, you know, and it has a lot of work to be done to read. It needs Absolutely. to be repent, but. If we didn't have the justice system, y'all would really be running a muck. Yeah, but y'all palace. out here in these internet street, please. yes, uh, just running a muck yes. in Mama D's palace. She wouldn't be able to <laughs> do nothing. Call the guards. Call the guards. She wouldn't be able to do nothing with y'all. <laughs> mm, that's ridiculous. All right, Carla, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break, and when we come back, I'm gonna talk about some good news because we do have some good news on the docket. But before we get into the good news, we do have to address this DJ Paul situation regarding Gangsta Boo's funeral. So we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. So, Carla, so DJ Paul took to the streets of the Internet over mm-hmm. the weekend. Um, Gangsta Boo was late to rest on Saturday. Um, her funeral services were held in Mississippi. But okay. I believe like Mississippi is very close to Memphis, like kind of like Stone they Mountain. neighbors, right? Yeah, I think they neighbors. So um, her funeral services were held in uh, Mississippi. Um, some people I saw, Glorilla was there. Um, okay. La Chat, remember La Chat? She oh, was wow. there. Okay, okay. Um, but who wasn't there was DJ Paul wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Um, Juicy J was not there. And I guess- Okay. Some, some apparently someone was taking attendance, and uh, always um, you know people be checking. Come on, that's not front. You know people, but you always got that one person like, and this one wasn't there, and that one yes. at a funeral, at a funeral, and so apparently someone took attendance mm-hmm. and noticed that DJ Paul was not there and mm-hmm. Juicy J was not there, and of course they started criticizing and mm-hmm. started calling them out, and they kind of received some backlash. So mm-hmm. DJ Paul. Being oh, ain't yeah. the one or the two. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, Listen. some things are just better left unsaid. But he hopped yeah. on social media. Yeah. Yeah. And went slap the hell off to yeah. let everyone know that he paid for the funeral. He mm-hmm. didn't go to the funeral because he was on tour. And even if he wasn't on tour, more than likely he wouldn't have gone to the funeral mm-hmm. because number one, he don't do funerals. Now mm-hmm. we talked about that before that you and I both are not a fan of funerals. Right. Um, Unless it is absolutely mandatory that we be there. Right. Um, secondly, he was just like, um, he didn't want to come because last time he went to a funeral, he had to deal with all the groupies who wanted to be up in his face and talk to him and I guess take pictures this with him. This is where it all went try- downhill. This is where it all went downhill. <laughs> Honestly, well, let me just finish telling you. Go ahead. I'm said. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, because you was getting ready to send me off on my tangent. Um <laughs> He said that he didn't want to deal with the groupies. 
Then he went on to say that it would only it only would have been four or five of y'all in their empty way had he mm, not mm, discovered mm, mm. the teenage, um, you know, gangsta boo and made her who she is because he created her and he made her <laughs> and he wrote the wow. books for where them dollars at. And it was because of him that she is who she was. Wow. And if he had not done that, nobody would have basically cared or even been at the funeral except for four mm. or five people. Mm. Um, then he went on to address those who criticized the casket because her casket was basically, um, it was a, and this a casket. Is, it was a casket. <laughs> it was like, with all due respect, it was a typical casket. Yeah. Like, I guess people were expecting uh, pearl, rose gold. gold yeah, with, the gold casket. With, with doves riding on the top of it, singing Prince, um, or having her air yeah. brushed across the top of it, or, yeah. you know, all these things that um, y'all was mad at Gucci Mane for not putting enough, enough money up for. I guess that's uh-huh. what y'all were expecting. Um, yeah. So he also let people know, which I felt like was a little bit too much information, that why would we spend all this money on a casket with her mama want her cremated? Yeah, he was that he was out of pocket. I did, that was horrible. That was not needed. He did not need to say that. He didn't. Why would didn't. we waste money or pay all that money? I think he said pay all that money. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna use the word waste. Mm-hmm. Why would we pay all that money for a casket? Her mama want her cremated. So this is where I honestly feel like the only reason why Juicy, uh, not Juicy J, Juicy J ain't said a word. He ain't studying right. it. Man, the reason why DJ Paul addressed this, it wasn't about, because I looked up the backlash, couldn't really find said backlash. Wow, really? Um, Maybe I was looking in the wrong place. Maybe I was yeah, looking in the wrong no, place. No, because that, that's that's interesting. Cause you know, Maybe I was looking in the wrong place. Know, maybe, I ain't trying to call maybe. folks liars or nothing, but you know, sometimes mm-hmm. so we, we, make, we, create, we make things bigger than what they are. And you know how y'all be getting on social media addressing y'all haters that ain't there. (laughs) Um, So I didn't see the backlash. Me personally, I'm not going to say it wasn't there. Maybe it was on TikTok or something or somewhere else. Yeah. But I didn't see it. Maybe they'd said it in his comments, the comment section of his page, because I wouldn't dare go into that. that. True that. True that. I wouldn't dare go down in that. Somebody might have been trolling. Yeah. So, you know, he snapped off. But I really think. His main purpose for responding to anything that had been said was just to make sure everybody knew he paid for that funeral. <sighs> yeah, that's what it turned into. Because, like, when you first listen to him, you're like, "All right," you just nod your head. Because I'm one of those people too. Like, funerals are not for, and I'm not. I'm not here to tell you how to grieve. Right there, mm-hmm. I know people personally that did not go to one parent, a parent's funeral, and mm-hmm. this is a parent, mm-hmm. right? We all know people that didn't go to children's funerals. We know mm-hmm. very famous people that so who's the you know we can't judge people on that but then when like you said it turned downhill as soon as he went into he just turned it in about himself Mm -hmm. um i paid for it and like that to me is so trifling i think that's trifling in itself it is is. some things are better left unsaid period facts um especially during the time when people are still grieving people are still hurting yeah and then how does the family feel now that you have taken the social media to let everybody know you paid for the funeral and if it wasn't for you nobody would have even been there no way and that that's why i'm like wait a minute all that created her and instead i'm I'm sitting back like whoa so god ain't had nothing to do with okay god God is like what was her name lola right yeah yeah about lola not gangsta boo yeah you might have helped with gangsta boo but But like people 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 know exactly but you know, but was why just think about the family though. Like you like, oh, thank you so much, Paul, for helping out. And then he started running down other funerals that he paid for in, in mm, the comments. Mm. Are you serious? In the comments, he hashtagged all That's the other funerals crazy. he paid for. Yo, you can listen to DJ Paul talk and just know, like, well, me personally. I'm like, yeah, he can stay over there and I'll stay over here. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for us to, to intermingle at all. Nah, at nah. all. And it was just just poor taste. Um, Very poor but taste. But I, I really think it wasn't about defending his absence. I think it was no. about making sure everybody, everyone no, knew he no, paid he for paid that for funeral. Yeah. Then he took it a step further, and I don't know if you caught it, but I'm sure you did, where he called the people who did attend the funeral groupies. Yes. Mm, okay. So I guess was that for Glorilla? Was that for I'm the trying chat? To, yeah, you know that exactly. I, and I didn't understand that. Like, what was that? Was like just a low blow? Like for what? What was mm-hmm. that for? Yeah. Yeah. It's a funeral. It's not so, a concert. While we're here, 
we need to have a, a conversation in our community about funeral etiquette. <laughs> Oh my God. I, I mean, it don't have to be today. This John have been past due. We need that. It's, it, we do. We really do. Don't have to be today, but it yeah. needs to be had. That's a whole podcast. You knew that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I noticed a lot of disturbing things at Takeoff's funeral. I mean, it was like mm -hmm. pre photo shoots. Like, y'all were doing yes. photo shoots. Like, I thought y'all was finna go to the club, not yes. the funeral. Um, now I know black folks is good for getting our pictures in at the repast. No issues there. Right. That's, right. Because right. nine times out of 10 at the repast, that's the last time you even seen some of your family yep. members. Yeah. Are you reconnected? Yeah, reconnect exactly. Exactly. But I agree. The way some of y'all y'all nah, be acting the hell up. I'm yeah. sorry. Guy yeah. is not happy. <laughs> God <laughs> rolled his eyes. Yes. Exactly. Every time he rolled his eyes at thunder in one part of the country. <laughs> 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 Y'all getting that thunder over there because these people's cutting up over here on the East Coast. Yeah, yo, no, seriously, especially when the majority of us have grown up. Mm -hmm. Most of us, mm -hmm. some of y'all, even the heathens, all of us, they grew up God, in the church. No. Like I, the way y'all be disrespectful at these funerals is, is, but yeah, we do. That's another podcast. Mm -hmm. We I, just make a yeah. note of that. Yeah, we got. We need to address yeah. that. Yeah, we got to get into some funeral etiquette because y'all be cutting the heck up. <laughs> and um, yeah, just it's it's from the I think I saw I'm not going to call out the person's name, but there was a person who attended Gangsta Blues funeral and she kind of went up on the stage area where they had like the portraits and the artwork of Gangsta Boo and was taking pictures. <gasps> oh, you, you excuse serious? me, casket. I need to get up here and get <laughs> you all. <laughs> Like, oh, okay. Yo, yo, excuse me. You did that. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Nah, you making good, great points, though. <laughs> y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. Okay. Y'all gonna do yes. what y'all gonna do. Yeah. Um, uh. So let's shift gears to some good news because I always want to make sure that in the midst of all the celebrity news and entertainment that we do, we do offer you some good news. So Naomi yes. Osaka is pregnant with her first yeah. child. Aww. So congratulations to Naomi. Yes. So her and uh, what's his name? Corday. Corday. Yes. Corday. They're going to be I think parents. that's going to be a cute baby. I, see, yeah. I can see that being a cute baby. All that talent, playing tennis and rapping about it. Mm. <laughs> that baby just going to have all the talent. Yes. All yes. the talent. But you know what? So here's the thing. To my knowledge, Corday has not even addressed this pregnancy. Oh, really? At all. All right. Four days ago, my second album turns one today. Okay. Nothing. Video, December 1st. Not a nothing. So then but is I he big on social, like personally, like personal stuff? Does he is he a personal business type of guy on social? Or is he doing like most of his music? Because you know you got those. Yeah, you do have the people. Who I see Corday being. I don't know why. Something to, in my spirit says Corday's like a, like a quiet guy. Right, yeah, just okay. limited when he posts. Essentially, right. I don't well, know though. Because for a second, curious. I was wondering if they were still together. But see, because that's she, what you had me thinking too. Like that's why I'm like, uh, but right? Corday private because she made no mention of Corday when announcing uh, she was pregnant. She didn't even tag him in the post. Do some digging. She didn't even tag him in the post, which I thought was kind of odd. odd. That is odd. Um, just mm, you might be doing something. Listen, I somebody. Hope not. <laughs> I, but here's a, here's back to your point. Okay. So we have been so conditioned to everybody telling us everything, all their business on social media all the time. Maybe it was yeah. like, well, what's understood don't need to be explained. I'm pregnant. I didn't do it by myself. Well, <laughs> yeah. with new technology, you actually can boo. But what I'm yeah. saying, I, yeah. Um, I, I hope mean, so. I hope it is know. one of those things. He's just being, you know, just yeah. I just checked. He's still following her on social media. So, oh, all right. Yeah, that's a great um, sign. Cause, yeah, because listen, the first thing they do is go get each other off of there. It, it, she has somebody, especially when she has somebody else's bun in her oven. Yep. Yeah. Okay. She still <laughs> she still follows Corday. Okay. I don't see him following. It's one thing to break up, but it's another thing that if, if that ain't my child. Yeah, like, if that's that ain't my child. Automatic. What you absolutely. Think? Absolutely. Yeah. So social media did what social media gonna do. Corday mm -hmm. start trending. Okay. Oh, <laughs> All the fellas was in the streets of Twitter asking for his prayer. <laughs> they want the rapper. Wait. The rapper house husband prayer they were asking for. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the rapper house husband prayer. <laughs> the rapper house husband prayer. This dude said he wanted word for word, bar for bar. He want this prayer. 
<laughs> but, um, you know, just congratulations to them, um, two yeah. young, beautiful, beautiful and talented people who seem very much in love. She always refers to him as her best friend. Yeah. So um, Naomi says she'll be back on a tennis court in 2024. So. Okay. I hope so. I look forward to it. Yeah. She don't be looking around for her right now. Don't be looking around for her yeah. right now. Listen, she got too much talent, though. She got to come back. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And other good news. Anika Noni Rose is mm -hmm. married. Talking about keeping uh -uh. it on the low. This real G right here moved in silence <laughs> like lasagna. She did. Wow. She did. So she's yeah. married to Jason Durden. He is also an actor. Okay. Um, he looks like he could be a PK when a Pookie Kids. Oh, for you know? real? Yeah. You, you know, like um, when you see black people that look Spanish, but they're not. <laughs> yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah. he's okay. one of those he looks spanish Aww. but he ain't okay uh, well at least i don't know he don't look i, I don't know he might be you but know nowadays child you just hit your ancestry.com i guess figure it out but yes <laughs> he is a he checking black on the census report okay, okay. All right. but these All two right. have been knowing each other and dating off and on since 2014 and they got married oh, wow they got married in okay. October of last year. Oh, snap. She just told well, us yesterday. A real, G, a real G. Speaking of privacy. I told you. <laughs> I told you. Wow. I told Damn. You. Yeah. Oh, yeah. congratulations, though. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and that's it for our good news. So let's go back to the foolishness. Did you hear that Jaguar Wright got arrested? I briefly saw something like that. Uh, I don't. But for what? It gave me a headache and I didn't uh, want to go down the rabbit hole, but apparently her and a friend or a homie lover friend, I don't know, because, mm -hmm. you know, Jaguar had got real quiet for a minute. So I was thinking, yeah. okay, that's either a good sign or a bad sign or no sign whatsoever. Right. But she had got quiet for a minute and I was like, cool, because one time she was going a little too hard. Yeah, her, her mental, I, another, here we go back to mental health. But so, Oh, we need to add Jaguar right to the prayer yeah, list. We do. That's Absolutely. what we need to do. So yeah. we are officially adding Jaguar like right mm -hmm. to the ice cream convos prayer list. Um, this week it came out. Well, we're midway through the week. It came out, I guess, over the weekend. I don't know because I've really been disconnected lately, but apparently there was a situation with her and her husband. I guess they are estranged mm. at this time. Mm. So her and the homie pulled up to the barbershop and rolled on him on oh the husband, gosh. but she also came with her son's ashes and oh was gosh. throwing her son's <gasps> ashes. She had a breakdown. And that's oh my goodness. That's at, horrible. Yeah. At some point she was throwing her son's ashes where I became extremely concerned was when I saw a clip of her like just kind of bugging out and mm -hmm. she started rubbing the ashes all over her face. Oh my goodness. But is I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Isn't Jaguar right? Is it has it been confirmed that she does have like a disorder, some type of I feel like I don't know because I, I, I see, but that's that is sad. It, yeah, she, it's really it's really really sad. I didn't write about it because it felt hmm. exploitive. Yeah, and I didn't write about it. She was arrested. Mm -hmm. Um, but by the time I saw the story, I saw it on all the other the usual suspects of the blogs. I saw it, all of them kind of posting it. And then I was like, I, I just want more information about like what happened what, in this what, situation. It's so funny. Um, I didn't mean to cut no, you go, off. Go, you go, said no, that. No, I'm going to tell you why you. I remember when you first asked me the reason I, I briefly, now I know why I skipped over it because going back to what you said, I remember seeing a title saying Jaguar right possessed by demons. And I'm like, mm. sc I scroll right by. Cause I'm like, Oh, it's some foolishness. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, um, by the time I got in my research bag, because, mm. you know, I, I try to be as thorough because that's one thing I learned from you. The I saw where the husband was doing interviews on YouTube. What? So he filmed her being arrested. Mm, mm, um, mm. I guess shared it on social media. But by the that's time me. I became aware of the story, he had already started doing interviews on, with YouTubers. Mm, mm, mm. And I was like, I dare not Crouch watch. Facer. I dare not watch because as you How know, dare you? yes, even in relationships, in marriage, even when you can't stand that joker, 
just yo, you you know how we feel. Yeah. Like, listen, you leave with everything you came with. That's right. You take stuff. Right. You know, it's not about if it falls apart, it falls apart. It's not about taking the social media, trying to expose people, exploit people. Exactly. Everybody knows that Jag, you know, that uh, Jaguar has been through quite a bit, mm-hmm. uh, quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, her version of events, as well as other people who oppose her versions of events, but. Mm-hmm. Just to exploit her like that and then try to, like you said, chase your own clout by doing yeah. these interviews. That was like a little low down for me. I was like, nah, I'm not feeding into that one. I need mean, Tory Lane's dad. Child. You know where I'm going with it. Sun you star. Rock Nation letting somebody down. Like, no, I'm looking at a bigger picture, I guess. Like, I, I, we see over and over real quick, and I'm not going to go on like a rant, yeah. but no, go ahead. over and over, we see these A list, B list, C list celebrities had these mental health like in front of us have these meltdowns mm-hmm. spiral out of control where is like the community like where is their support like where is at one time jack Wire was you know singing background for jay-z now sure i know was. she she mm-hmm. ripped them apart and i know she said some things that but this is all i believe due to her mental health like mm-hmm. issues so i just always like feel like I so feel here's, like, mm, okay i got a question for you though because you just triggered a question so in a situation like a Jay Z, a Jaguar, right? Rock Nation. I don't, well, I'm, I don't even know if she was affiliated with Rock Nation, but I do recall that he did have her singing with him, especially when he did the MTV Unplug. She sang, right, right. right. So, you're Jay Z. You worked with Jaguar, right, for a period of time in the industry. Y'all made magic together. Like what they did on that Unplug will never be undone. Yes, exactly. Right, exactly. By her doing that, it opened up a lot of doors for her. Now, not saying she wasn't on her grind. We ain't talking about no DJ Paul, Jay-Z, May, Jaguar, right, Jaguar, right, right, right? right? She put in her own grind. She did her thing. She got, she hit um, and started making a way for herself. Mm-hmm. Now I'm kind of looking at her the same way I look at Little Mo. Like, why didn't Jack, why did it appear to be a glass ceiling on Jaguar, right? That she never could penetrate. Right. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. look at the look at little Mo's talent. Yeah. There always True. seemed to be a glass ceiling on her that yeah. she could never penetrate and just yeah. and skyrocket out of here. So right. Yeah. Because when we mention Fantasia, it should be Fantasia, Lil Mo, yeah. blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. Right. Mm-hmm. We now found out that that later on down the line, we found out that little Mo had a, a addiction. She was addicted to pills. Mm-hmm. She was addicted mm-hmm. to this. She was addicted to that. Mm-hmm. With Jaguar's situation, it you know it's it appears to be pretty obvious. It's mental health, right? And it could be dual because, like, most of the time, you know, now they treat even like if you go in for addiction, it's dual. They're finding out like most people that are using drugs, they're using it to self medicate. So, like, right? It, so it that could possibly circle, right? So that could possibly be a scenario as well. Mm-hmm. But again, I'm going back. Uh, you know, I'm kind of taking you all the way around the block just to go down the street. Mm-hmm. So you're Jay Z. And Jag- here's Jaguar. Jaguar done outed you, dragged your name, talked about you crazy, blah, blah, blah. You don't know what he dealt with her, with, with her in private, whether there was anything or not. And then you're Jay-Z, the billionaire now with your family, your wife, your family, and you're in a different place. And you see Jaguar spiraling out of control. Now, do you look over there and be like, yo, that's, you know, I hate that for her, but that's not my business because she has put X, Y, and Z out on me at this point. If I go over there, you don't even know if she's going to accept the help or if she's going to throw ashes on me too, you mm-hmm. know, um, or I, well, you know what? No, I know you. I know you. I can't even put you in Jay-Z shoes. I can't speak for Jay-Z. I can speak for you. I know if it were you, you may not go over there, but you're going to send resources. Well, that's what I'm, that's where I'm at. He has the resources, right? To, to like literally get her help without her ever even know it came from him. Like, I just feel like when you reach a Jay-Z level, I don't care if it's a Jaguar or if it's a, a, a up and coming artist that you've never dealt with. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a responsibility. I feel like you have that. Like that's part of, to me would be his gratitude, like thanking God, like just, I don't know. I may look at things differently, mm-hmm. but if we're ever going to like, really really grow people like him and others gotta kind of like look at all of that stuff like stop leaving people behind like i get it Mm -hmm. i get that people said some things and done some things but if it ain't really 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 hurt their words if it really didn't hurt you like your pockets or anything like that 
Yeah. I just, you know, like, and I'm not saying him personally, I'm just saying mm-hmm. anybody who's worked with Jaguar, I just used him as an example. Right, so right, like, right. The hip hop community to. I'm glad that you said, but no, you, you, you said it, you said him and others, like just people who are, are fortunate and fortunate enough to have the resources or that can reach right. out to these resources. You know, I was really um, disappointed in Talib Kweli and, um, but again, I I say it because it's not me. Because I know when somebody do me dirty, I'm like, okay, well, two tears in the bucket. Got to deal with you and whatever come down the line, <laughs> just come down the line and deal with you. Because, you know, she went really, really hard in the paint on Talib Kweli. Yeah. I think she tried to out him for cheating on his wife or I, I think all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And after this latest situation where she was arrested, he posted the video and was like, I tried to tell y'all about her. I tried to tell y'all mm-hmm. that I think he did mention mental illness. He was like, but okay. y'all, y'all didn't believe me. Y'all thought it was this. Y'all thought it was that. And while I understand a part of him may feel vindicated because now you literally see her go manic and have a full, full on meltdown. Mm-hmm. Do you really take that situation and prop it up to kick someone right. when they're down? That's because we don't need context exactly. clues. We can all see what's happening here. That's right. We don't That's need right. you to say, see, I told y'all this chick was off or she was right. going, exactly. she had mental illness and blah, blah. We see it. Talib. We're right, right. here. Right. But again, I also feel like, God don't miss nothing, right? And now mm-hmm. I know I may start talking out of turn now, and then I'll come back to y'all next week like, well, God pal pal me for talking reckless. <laughs> but right now, at this current moment, mm-hmm. less than a week after he did the I told you so, Talib Kweli is on social media right now pleading his case to American Airlines who pulled him off of a flight and tried to have him arrested over wow. his bag. Less than a week later. I'm just saying. So it was funny mm -hmm. when Jaguar was getting arrested, but now they pulling you off a plane. They they deplaning you. Listen, as you get older, you kind of know these things. Like, man, I see my karma. I see my karma. I claim it. Well, I feel like with karma too, let me tell you what I feel like. This is my opinion. It gets really tricky. For those who actually know better, like for those that like had that thought, we all had that thought before we good people, right? Before you grade, make that shady move or do something bad. You had that thought that tells you you shouldn't do that, right? Mm-hmm. But you go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. Huh. They the ones that get the tenfold. I feel like you get it worse because you knew better. Yep. Like like you you have that moment to pause. You have a choice to make. Period. I was like, yo, it's literally matter of fact, let me go to his page as a matter of fact. He knew better. Because I want to see literally how many days passed between him Posting it and now him. Let's see. Did he remove it? Let's see. Looks like he may have removed it. Yeah, he I think he I think he removed it. Okay. So it might have been one of those, see, I told y'all, and then he left, you know, yeah. type of let's see, four days ago. But yeah. So I think he removed it, but literally less than a week. Now here he is. Man, that's terrible. He'll learn. He gonna learn. Being pulled off of a plane. Oh no 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 no. Two days ago. Twenty. Two days. Literally pow, two pow. days. Ago. Pow pow. <laughs> two days two afterwards. Days. Listen, he had, he got his back fast. He said, told y'all, y'all don't be listening, though. Jack Ryer really out here rubbing her son's ashes on her face and saying she's going to murder her husband and blow things up. I watched this whole video. It was very disturbing. Every YouTuber blogger who spread her lies. Wait, every YouTube and blogger who spread her lies for her is complicit in the mental health breakdown. Instead of getting this woman some help, y'all tried to get her get paid off of her. Hashtag Jaguar right. He wrote that two days ago. And then. Here he is. What's up, everybody? Thank you to everybody who was checking on me. Um, I'm fine. I'm I'm at the airport. Uh, I got taken off the plane because the flight attendant, whose name is Sky Seaglass, and I'm going to find out more about this dude, and we're going to get into that later. You know what I'm saying? I got the captain's name, too. But uh, the flight attendant uh, argued with me about my bag. He called the supervisor. The supervisor said my bag was okay. Um, and I told him, I said, I felt like I was, he was being rude to me. And because that he told the captain of the flight that he didn't feel safe flying with me so what they did was they detained me and they marched all the people off the plane past me 
and they called the police on me. They sent uh, three police officers. The police officers came. They listened to my side of the story. They decided that I was correct in my assessment. And so they didn't arrest me or detain me any further. Uh, and, you know, American Airlines flight 1459, we're going to get this ain't over. But thank you to everybody who was paying attention to the live. And it's a shame that we have to go live for our safety. When OK, white so that's enough. Uh, I just want to let him know it's over. <laughs> it's just over. What does he mean? Like, <laughs> that's funny. My thing don't, was. Don't write um, people up and have them get in, in trouble. I, I, I commented because. It, again, it's just it's just very interesting how we behave in in a social media era. I know sometimes social social media is the quickest way to get the word out about things, but it's so funny how celebrities try to weaponize social media too when mm -hmm. they get when they get regular people treatment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because yeah. when it, this whole dispute was over a bag. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if he was being racially profiled or so on and so forth, which um, goes on all the time, and. Just which goes on all the time. Deal um, with it. Yeah. And, and then, you know, you can, it's just funny how, like, what, which, what I'm supposed to do to American Airlines. Right. Like I commented and, you know, I hate, first of all, let me just be clear. I hate mm. that this happened to him or anyone else who feels like they've been mistreated in a situation. Right. But I wrote back to him and I said, well, I thought we was done with American Airlines when they kicked that black woman and her husband and a newborn baby or seven month old baby or something like that off of a right. flight. Right. So we they still keep count. going. We still keep going back to these people. And then yeah. we get mad when they do us dirty. Like if, yeah. if I see somebody, if I see you do somebody dirty, I'm not going to be like, well, she all right. It wasn't me. And then <laughs> wait for you to come get me. Then well, when you get me. Yeah. Now I now I want to weaponize everybody yeah, and be like, oh, unfortunately, we ride yeah. at dawn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but that's our culture in itself. Those are like, honestly, most of the, most of us think like that. I hate to say that. Mm -hmm. If it's not directly affecting us, we don't care. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, it's messed Facts. up, but it is, it's the truth. You see it in so many. But you got a good point. Nobody cares about that family and the baby, mm -mm. right? Because they're just regular people. Yeah, but we're really supposed to be lining up now on because that plane. it's Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. it's messed up, but you're right. You have a good point. I've done it myself, so I know. Mm -hmm. Me too. So, all right. So, um, mm -hmm. let's do some TV real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Carla, girl, Netflix, right. mm. Netflix mm -hmm. has dropped 16 films that will be released in 2023. And when nice. I, you already know, I was in here going, oh, yes, grind like Mahershala Ali. Mm. Co-starring with Julia Roberts. Oh yeah, Millie Goodness. Bobby Brown co-starring with Angela Bassett. Oh like, yeah, we yeah. got playing out here. We At got all. playing. I love it. I love so, it. So um, I just I spent all morning putting a list together. Okay. And and collecting the synopsis for the films and the cast members and all that. Okay. Some of them had teaser trailers. Some of them don't. But. Like we gonna get some good. We gonna have something good to watch every single month on Netflix. And they only nice. just announced this first sixteen because those are like the really, really big, big, big ones. Okay. But they still have other films coming in between as well. So y'all know nice. I'm your local Netflix uh dealer. Yes, I'm always the gonna plug, tell you the on. Netflix I'm, plug. Yeah, I be slinging them Netflix series all <laughs> up and down, the, uh, all up and down the internet yes. streets, the blocks, and them docu's and them docu's. For, shout out to all my documentary. Yes, shout out to y'all. So on all of that. <laughs> yes, but we got um, some of the ones I'm really excited about. We got um, Extraction Two. If you have not okay. watched the first Extraction, child, stop playing. <laughs> stop playing with Chris Chris Hemsworth. Go watch it. You people. With Eddie Murphy and Nia Long okay. and Lauren London, all that. That comes out not this Friday, but the following Friday, the 27th. So they got a lot of good stuff. They got a film starring um, uh, Kevin Hart. He's going to be in a heist film. Okay. Oh, um, right. And it's not a comedy. It's, it's a straight up action Something film. Different. Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah, it's a straight up okay. action film. So it's not a comedy. Um, Adam Sandler. You got all the all the good user, usual suspects. So visit okay. icecreamcombos.com right now after you finish listening to the podcast. Check out that list and and start marking your calendars because they come in, boo boo. They come in through. So that's yeah, all I, I really wait. have. Yeah, that's all I really have for TV and movies. How about you? No, I'm actually looking forward to um 
it was a docu series that I was looking forward to because you you trigger something when you said Netflix. Oh, um, oh, wasn't it like? Isn't aren't they going to do like a docu series on the Hitchhiker guy? Remember the um, um, uh, it's out. It is. It's out. I, if it's what I think you're talking about, okay. Yep, right. it's out. Oh, okay. and I also want to remind everyone that this Friday, Truth Be Told season three premieres. And shout out okay. to Apple TV for giving me the opportunity to to screen the whole season. And it nice. is good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's all I'm going to say because I can't remember when my embargo lifts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's good. And over the weekend, I saw a film called A Man Called Otto that stars Tom Hanks. And listen, y'all. I listen, Linda Leroy and Leviathan. <laughs> um, Go see that movie. Go yeah. see the, the trailer. Mm-hmm. does absolutely nothing for the film. The trailer okay. gives you, the the film has two dimensions. The trailer only presents you with one dimension and the second dimension literally is, it's Tom Hanks, man. It's Girl, Tom yeah, Hanks. Yeah. Like I literally went, went from laughing to crying to laughing to crying That's to laughing to crying. Yo, if y'all think Tom Hanks came So you went from Bosom Buddies to Philadelphia. I did. Back to Bosom Buddy. <laughs> yes. Yes. For an hour and a half. I did. Bosom wow. Buddy to Philadelphia. He's so amazing. Back to he's so, I don't know anyone else that can do, um, take your emotions on a roller coaster like that. So, at, at, like at rapid rate. Um, hey, I want, as of right now, I am requesting a federal mandate to rap Tom Hanks and bubble wrap and keep this man safe and yes. protect him at all. Yes. Time. Yes. Tom please. Hanks is. Good grief, Tom. Gene acting genius. It's him, Meryl Streep, Viola Davis, yeah. and Denzel Washington. For yes, me. yes, yes. Those are my I can't even. And you know what? I can't even disagree with you. You got to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those you are my can't Avengers. Leave Angela Bassett out, though. Oh, uh, yeah. You keep doing that. I don't understand it. You said, I keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You said you keep doing that. I don't, I don't and, and the, the look yeah. on your face, like it's really like I'm pure confusion I'm and just, disappointment. Like I you keep confused. doing That's that. That's what it is. It's confusion. I'm sorry. You don't have to pick. They both can be. I think. With no, you, I'm just talking about. I'm, no, no, no. no. What I'm what I'm saying is like if we had to pick like a Fantastic Four, there. Who's your Fantastic Four then? Because that's my fan. I love Angela Bassett. God knows yeah. I do. But my Fantastic Four. You know my, you know how <laughs> I've got to be five. Viola Why are you Davis? going with four? We get with five. Fantastic people. four. I, I know, but so we can go with the Furious Five. We go with the Furious Five. Yeah. All right. So I feel Angela more comfortable. Bass, you can't. Yeah. You could not not bubble wrap Angela Bassett. No, 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 no. Angela Bassett got to get bubble wrap for sure. Yes. I mean, if we're gonna do that, then we got to bubble wrap Octo- Octavia Davis. I mean, yeah. Octavia Spencer. Yeah, yeah. See, we are gonna start something now. We gonna start <sighs> something now. So but I get what you're saying. Now I feel what you're saying, though. Honestly. But who's There's your who's certain, your um who's your t- f- top five dead or alive? Literally just top five. My top five. Okay. Like all right, I got dead. You. Well, if you're cl- including no, 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 dead. we ain't gonna do dead or alive. Yeah, that was right. that was too much. We'll be here all day. Be like, so um, oh, no, no. She'll be pulling people out. Patty May Daniel. <laughs> like, no, come on, man, come on, come on, come on, come back, come back, come back. You're doing too much. Come back. Be like, no, but yes. So let us know who are your. Fantastic Four or your Furious Five of yes. acting? Because for me, my Furious Four, Carla over there looking at me like, my Furious, right. my, my Fantastic Four mm-hmm. is Viola Denzel. Right. Um, agree, agree. And then Tom Hanks. Agree. And who did I say? Oh, Meryl Streep. Yes. But I my agree. Furious agree. Five includes Angela Bassett. Yes. You have to. Yeah. But even like, we need to do it. Yeah. Well, next, one of these podcasts, we're going to just go down to acting. Like, we're going to go down to yeah, ICC we need to. Hall of Fame. We because, got to. I mean, y'all be getting y'all awards and stuff like that. But, you know, it's some of us that we like, we got some people. Because yeah, right now, I'm ready to, I'm ready to bubble wrap Mahershala Ali. And he, oh did. my gosh, already, 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 I'm ready to bubble wrap. Yes. Bubble wrapping. Yes. He, he the truth. But he the real. truth with an F. <laughs> T-R-U-U-F. Truth. Yes. No, bubble wrapping. Yes. yes. Seriously. Yeah. I bubble wrapping. Sure would. And it's somebody else that I would bubble wrap that's young. Um, it's hmm. a female. It's a young black female that I would bubble wrap. 
and I can't think of who she is right now. But when I see her on screen, I'll be like, yes, God. Yes, God. The bubble wrap. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that's where we're going. We're going to have our bubble wrap um, awards. Yes. Coming soon. We definitely um, got to do that. Yeah, we Nikki, do Nikki Gilbert is not allowed to vote in case we have some feedback. <laughs> pray for Nikki. That was nice. I like that. Pray for Nikki. Poor Nikki. Yeah, oh, definitely put her on the prayer list too. Yeah. Because I feel like Nikki. a meltdown's coming the way every time I turn around. No, but, it, but here's the thing. I give, I don't want to say I give Nikki Gilbert a hard time, but I present stuff that other people give her a hard time. But I know what it feels like to have somebody steal my stuff. And when you when somebody steal your stuff, it's a different type of disdain, and it's a different. Oh, type it is. Of, it's not. It's a, I'm not saying how she feels, but different type of animosity. But but it's just the way she. Start. It's yeah. the way she's handling it. It's the way she's handling it. That's what it is. Nobody yeah. saying so. I get it, but you got to handle that differently. Put mm. yourself together. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, guys. Well, that is all for today. We're going to do a short show because we need to get back to the grind. But um, we hope all of you are having an amazing week. And we thank you so much for listening to the Ice Cream Convos podcast, where we serve delicious scoops of entertainment and celebrity news. Carla, what are your parting words for us this week? <laughs> Hydrate, be mm-hmm. kind, and make sure all your intentions. I'm telling y'all, intentions with love. I'm saying it every show. Mm-hmm. Make sure all your intentions start with love. What you got? Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, man, I just, I don't even know. I'm just so tired. Get some rest. I'm so so tired of balling. (laughs) I'm just tired of balling. And then it's not helping that it's like gloomy outside. Because I just want to lay down. And that'll that'll do it. That definitely will do it. That'll do it. I got a little sun up here, but you know, y'all always, Mm. Georgia always said that. That weather up here mm-hmm. seems like the next day. Yes. Oh, also for the prayer request list, I want to add um, the family of the UGA player who was killed after the parade. Um, oh, yes. I read this morning that it was a single car accident and they believe speed was a factor. He was not wearing a seat belt and he was ejected from the vehicle. Oh, man. Yeah. So I definitely want to because I learned yesterday that this is the second child his parents have lost mm. in a car accident. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is horrible. Yeah, so just um, also please keep them in your prayers as well. All right, guys. Well, we'll be back next week. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So ICC, <laughs> we all we got. Peace. Love you guys. Yeah. Bye. Ice cream ice conversation. Ice cream, ice cream conversation. conversation.